So the problem with the uh, nearest neighbor algorithm is that it's greedy. It doesn't look ahead. And so this time, we're going to uh, use a different method called sorted edges, or the cheapest link algorithm. And the idea here is we're going to start out by listing all of the edges in the graph from cheapest to most expensive. So here, uh, A to D is the cheapest with a cost of 1. Uh, A to C is the next cheapest with a cost of 2. Uh, A to B, the cost of 4. Uh, let's see, C to D with a cost of 8. Uh, B to D is a cost of 9, and B to C has a cost of 13. And so now, we're not going to worry about our starting location. We're not going to worry about connecting things. We're just going to go down the list here, and we're going to add these edges to our graph, or to our circuit, uh, and unless if... So we're going to add from cheap up... <laughs> Uh, it, so we're going to add from the cheapest up unless... unless if one of two things happen. So either it would create what I'm going to call a mini-circuit, and a mini-circuit would be something like this, where it is a circuit that does not include all the vertices. So we don't want that, and we don't want uh, any vertices... Uh, would give a vertex degree 3. So the reason we don't want that is because if we're never going to return to a, a city after we visited it, there's no reason to have a degree 3, right? Every city, we're going to have one in, one out, and then we're not coming back. So we don't want degree 3 ever. So let's go ahead and give this a try. So my first edge is A to D, so we'll go ahead and we'll add that into our graph. Uh, either using a highlighter or a different color here is really helpful. Uh, so now we're done with that one. So next we'll go to AC, and we'll go ahead and add that one into our, into our graph. Next up on our list is A to B. What would happen if I add AB? Notice now we have a degree 3 vertex, and that is bad, so we're not going to add that, uh, this one. Uh, we're not going to... because it violates our, our, our rules here. So let's go on to the next one. C to D, cost of 8. We'd love to add that one. What happens if I add that one? Notice now we have that mini circuit. We have a circuit that it does not include vertex B, and so that is bad. I should not be adding that edge. Okay, so moving on to this one. B to D, cost of 9. No issues there, so we can go ahead and add that one. And then my only other choice is this one, uh, the, the B to C, uh, there, for a cost of 13. So the circuit we end up with is A, D, B, C, A. Notice I just picked a starting point and a direction, so I said A, D, B, C, A. It, it would have been totally correct here also to say A, C, B, D, A, that is equivalent. Uh, if I didn't care what vertex I started at, I could also start it at B, but usually we list our answers starting at A. And there is our circuit, and that circuit ends up having a total cost of 25. Now, that's not the optimal circuit, uh, but it's certainly not the worst one in the graph either. So this is also a heuristic algorithm. It is not optimal. Uh, sometimes you get the best circuit, sometimes you, like in this case, you do not. But as you can see, like nearest neighbor, it is a fairly efficient algorithm. It takes a little more work than nearest neighbor, but it's still fairly quick.